Hi, it's Friday, so you know what that means. It's time for another Double Feature Friday, and this week I'm talking about two films that are about fathers, because we just celebrated Father's Day here in Canada, and those two films are Frailty and The Stepfather, the 2009 version. get into frailty I'll talk about this film first this came out in 2001 which honestly it feels a bit older than that but I guess that's 20 years ago which you know that's pretty crazy this stars Matthew McConaughey and Bill Paxton and it's also directed by Bill Paxton frailty is a great film it's told more in flashbacks the movie starts with matthew mcconaughey's character going to the fbi to tell them that he knows who the god's hand killer is and that it's his brother and the fbi agent obviously you know is questioning him how do you know this how can i believe you and he starts to recount his childhood and stories of his father and then it's told mostly in flashbacks and it sort of cuts back and forth to present day and then flashbacks I don't want to reveal because actually even though I kind of had the plot told to me I still found that this movie went places I didn't really expect and it was really good. Bill Paxton plays the dad in the flashbacks and he is super intense and really creepy so he has two sons and God comes to him in a vision or angel comes to him in a vision and tells him that he has to start killing people who actually are um, demonic entities. So then he starts doing that. He enlists the help of his sons and the story goes from there. It's, it's really interesting and then how it plays out is also really interesting and not at all what I had expected. So I would say this movie was a four out of five. I really enjoyed watching it. Uh, Bill Paxton was amazing as usual. Matthew McConaughey was really good. So this, this was kind of early in his acting career. It was a really enjoyable watch and I say check it out. The Stepfather is also a movie about, um, like these are both pretty bad examples of father figures I would say. The Stepfather, I had seen the original, I, I think it came out in the 70s. So I watched it somewhat recently, but I'm not gonna talk about it, but I will just say this. The original, in my opinion, is a way better film than this one. This one came out in 2009, which is kind of like the height of, it's just an aesthetic, a movie aesthetic that I don't enjoy. So the, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't think this film would be that great. I saw it at my local thrift store a couple months ago and I just thought I really enjoyed the original. It might be fun to check this one out and see. I didn't expect it would be anywhere near as enjoyable as the first one. And I will say that I was right in that expectation. Uh, the casting is just very 2009. Penn Bagley, who was best known for his role in Gossip Girl. Um, the Stepfather is played by Dylan Walsh, who is in Nip Tuck. So these guys are like kind of TV actors, uh, which isn't a bad thing. They're just um, also, I feel like very of the era, like of the 2000s. So the music choices for this film are pretty bad, but also of the time. It just feels very 2009 to me, which like I said, is not something that usually appeals to me when I watch a film. I would say the first three quarters of this movie are pretty painful to get through the setup of the stepfather as being this devious, deceptive man. I feel like, I don't know if it's the writing or like I said, the era. I do feel like in the original film, the the actor who plays the stepfather does a much better job of trying to come across as um, this sort of charming person, but you still suspect him. I say this guy is just a straight up creep and I don't really even know how the mom was I guess maybe she was desperate enough to just let him into her life. I know it's a movie, so that's probably, it's just <laughs> how it had to be, but I found it was less believable. And 
Um, in the original Stepfather, there was this great turn where he starts sort of tripping up and slipping up on who he is in terms of which, which identity he is living within. And it's kind of, I think, a longer and a bit more of an intense scene where he gets caught in a lie and he just starts pretending like he is losing his mind or very confused or something. And I kind of liked that better. But I will say, once the climax starts going, it is suspenseful. I did like some of this handheld camera work when everyone's running around the house and trying to run away from the stepfather. I thought that was really well done. I was feeling stressed out during all that, so it was effective. But I would say like such a short part of the movie that's good and the rest of it is not great in my opinion. I would say watch the original version of this film. Don't watch this 2009 version. This is a 2 out of 5 I would say. It was a fun Father's Day double feature. Frailty was very good. Um, you can check this out but like I said why not watch the original? It's much more fun and I think the original one has more suspense throughout instead of just saving it all for sort of the last 10 minutes. That's it for this week's Double Feature Friday. Have you seen either of these films or have you seen the original, The Stepfather, and what did you think? That's all for me for this week. Bye for now.